Hi guys, this is Ms. Igo. Welcome to my classroom. Today we're going to be talking about the rectangular coordinate system. The rectangular coordinate system consists of the x-axis, which is a horizontal number line, the y-axis, which is a vertical number line, the point where the two axes meet in the middle would be the origin, and the x and the y-axis divide the plane into four quadrants. The quadrants are these four sections and we number them using Roman numerals starting in the upper right hand corner. So this would be quadrant one. Then we go counterclockwise to quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. An ordered pair means the same thing as a point, and it shows the location on the Cartesian coordinate system. To name a point, we use a capital letter, and the location of each specific point is given with two numbers, the x value and the y value, that correspond to the location of the point. So when we have an ordered pair, it looks like this. We write it in parentheses and we tell how far we go um, to the left or to the right on the x-axis, and then we tell how far we go up and down on the y-axis, and that gives the location of that point. A graph is a picture representation of an equation, and if we're told to graph, that just means to draw the picture of the equation. Okay, let's plot some points on, on the, the rectangular coordinate system. Point A has the coordinates of 5, 3. So as I told you, the first value tells us how far we go on the x-axis, and the second one tells us how far we go on the y-axis. Whenever we're plotting a point, we always start at the center or the origin. So this tells us to go five spaces on the x-axis. A positive number means that we're going to the right. A negative number would mean we're going to the left when we're um, in relation to our x value. For our y value, a positive number means we would go up, and a negative number means we would go down. So starting at 0, 0 at the origin, we're going to go a positive 5, so that means we travel one, two, three, four, five spaces, and then we have a positive three, so we need to go up one, two, three. So this is the location where we would put our point, right there. I'm going to erase the travel. All right, and then that point is point A, so I'm going to label it with a capital A. The next point, point B, has the coordinates of 8, 0. Again, the first coordinate just tells me left and right, so I'm going to go to the right eight spaces, one, starting at the origin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then my y value is 0, so that means I don't go up or down. I stay right there on the x-axis, and that's where my point's going to go. So this is point B. Again, I'm going to erase how I traveled. C has negative numbers. My x value is negative 2, so I'm going to start at 0 and travel a negative 2 on the x-axis. So that means I need to go to the left one, two spaces. And then my y value is negative one, so I'm going to go down one space. And that's where my point is, my point C.
D starts with zero. So that means for my X axis, my left and right, I don't travel left or right because it's zero. The three is how far I travel on my Y axis. So it's a positive three, which means I will just go up one, two, three spaces on my Y axis and put a point. And so that would be E. Oh, that's not E, that's D. <laughs> now, E is 3, negative 3. So starting at 0, I'm going to go to the right 3, 1, 2, 3. And then negative 3 means I'll go down 1, 2, 3. To this spot right here, and now that is E. F is zero, zero. So that means I start at the origin and I don't go left or right, so it's right there on the origin. So zero, zero are the coordinates for the origin. So that's F. G, the coordinates are three over two and two. Anytime I'm trying to graph an ordered pair that has a fraction in it, if my fraction is an improper fraction, it's better to change it to a mixed number. So three over two, if, it, if it's a, an improper fraction, that's kind of hard to understand where the location is. So if I change it to a mixed number, you know I can change an, uh, an improper fraction to a mixed number by taking the numerator and dividing it by the denominator. Two will go into three one time with one left over and I take that remainder and put it over what I divided by. So I get one and a half. So this three over two is the same thing as one and a half and then two. So I start again at the origin and I go to the right one and a half. Okay, so I'm halfway between one and two. And then I'm gonna go up one, two. So right here, in between those two lines is where my point is going to go. Let me erase this so maybe you can see it better. So my point is in between those two lines because I went to the right one and a half, and then I went up two. Okay, so that's my point G. And then my last point H is at negative five, two. So I'm going to start at the origin again and I'm going to go negative five, which means I'll go to the left. One, two, three, four, five spaces, and then a positive two. So I'm gonna go up one, two spaces. All right, so right there is where my point is. So that's how we plot points on the rectangular coordinate system. Now here are some points that are already plotted, so let's see if we can determine what the coordinates are. For A, again, to travel to A, we have to start at the origin. And it's like we're driving on roads, so we can't cut across the ditch, we have to stay on the lines to get to our point. And we always go left or right first. Okay, so if I start at my origin and I wanna travel to A, I'm going to go on the road right here to here and then go up here. So we need to count those spaces. Okay, so let's count how many spaces it took us to get there. Okay, so if I start at the origin, I'm going to go one, two, three spaces to the left. Okay, so that means it's a negative value. So A would be negative three on my y-axis, and then I'm gonna travel up one, two, three spaces, so that would be a positive three. To get to B, once again, I start at the origin and I have to stay on the roads, so I would, if I drove on the roads to get to B or drove on the lines to get to B, this would be my path 
So let's count how many spaces it takes us to get there. So this time I'm going to the right. One, two, three, four, five spaces. That was to the right, so it's a positive five. And then I'm going to go up one, two, three, four spaces. Again, that's up, so it's going to be a positive number, a positive four. All right, let's travel to C. Starting at the origin, we're going to go to the left. One, two, three, four, five spaces. So that would be a negative five. And then we go down one space. So that would be a negative one. We always do left and right first, then up and down last. All right, to get to D, we can't go left or right because it's on the y-axis. So that means that my x value is going to be zero. And then I go down one, so it would be a negative one. So zero, negative one would be my coordinates for D. All right, let's look at E. So to get to E, starting at the origin, I go to the right, one, two, three spaces, and I'm there. So I traveled left and right. I traveled to the right, so that's my X value, which would be a positive three. But my Y value is zero because I didn't go up or down. And then the last coordinate that we need to find is F. So again, I'm going to travel on the lines to get to F. So I'm going to go to the right, one, two, three, four, five spaces. Went to the right, so that's positive five. And then I go down one, two. So going down would be a negative two. And that's how we plot points or find the coordinates for the points on the rectangular coordinate system. Thank you for watching.